Hello guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. How's everyone doing today? Today we're gonna have more fun with animations in Roblox. So previously we had this mail rig right here, the mail rig, and we added a script to the mail rig, which is gonna play two different animations on the mail rig. What I'm gonna do now is, let me close this script, and I'm gonna add another rig a female rig. So we're going to go to the avatar menu tab, click on rig builder. It's going to be an R15 feminine skin avatar. And here is my female rig. I'll put her over here. Let me move her down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the script inside the male rig. It's called the leap script. I'm going to right click, copy. And now I'm going to go to the rig, which is the female rig. Let me rename the female rig to female rig. And then we're going to right click and paste into. So I'm pasting the leap script from the male rig to the female rig. We did this in our prior tutorial. If you like more information, you can refer to our prior tutorial for more information. Basically, we're just playing two different animations back to back and we keep on repeating the process. Let's now play and take a look. It should work on both rigs now, the male rig and the female rig. Let me run to my male and female rigs and, and there it goes. They're waving and leaping. Okay, so all is well. Next thing I'm gonna do let me just close the script here. I'm gonna to go to my female rig and you see the humanoid here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that humanoid. So now if we go to the script here, you can see that the script is no longer gonna work because we're referencing to a humanoid of the rig which no longer exists inside the female rig. So this one, there's gonna be an error here when it tries to run this statement. So the big question now is how do you play an animation on a rig which has no humanoid object? Because we're gonna need the humanoid object here to load the animation. And the answer to that is if your rig has no humanoid object, then you need to use an animation controller to play the animation on the rig. So instead of declaring the humanoid object here, I'm going to declare an animation controller. And that's going to be called to instance.new. We're creating a new animation controller. And I'm gonna put this new animation controller object inside my rig. So it's gonna go inside the female rig. Now you see these two humanoid objects here, I'm gonna replace them with my animation controller. So I'm gonna copy this. Wherever we used humanoid before, I'm gonna paste in the animation controller. We're leaving everything else the same. Let's play and take a look. Let me now run to my rigs. One thing you notice here is the female rig is lower than the male rig, but they both work the same. They, they both do the, the two different animations back to back. The reason the female rig is lower because the female rig now has no humanoid object inside the rig. If I go here to the workspace and I go to the male rig, I'm going to look for the humanoid object of the male rig, click on that, and we're going to look for a property called hip height. Right now you see the default is 3.166. If I go and change this to one, hit enter. You see now my male rig is lower, about the same height as the female rig. So the hip height is the thing that keeps your rig 
above ground. Now if I go and change the hip height to zero, hit enter, you can see that now my mail rig is going crazy all over the place. So apparently the hip height is the thing that keeps the humanoid rig in place. Without the hip height, the, uh, the rig is not being kept in place. It's going all over the place. Now, on the other hand, if I want the female rig to behave exactly the same as the male rig, all I have to do is go to the female rig. I'm going to look for a part core, the humanoid root part, click on that. And we're just going to go and anchor that part. Now, if I play, they both going to work the same. Here we go. And we're waiting for a few seconds. And there we go. You, you see the uh, female rig and the male rig are staying in place. And they're both doing the same animations. Guys, that's how you use the animation controller to animate an object, a rig with no humanoid object. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care, everyone.